The Season 3 Reloaded update took place yesterday. This changed some of the meta. We're going to go over what is the best close range weapons after that update. Getting straight into it, the first thing you want to look at is TTK numbers. This is the most important thing when it comes to close range engagements. Even recoil is not that important because how close you are to your enemy, the recoil shouldn't really be too much of a factor. It uh, depends on obviously how far you try to use these weapons or if you want to use them as sniper support. But we usually make separate videos on them anyway. But for SMGs in particular, getting the best possible time to kill, these are the best TTK close range weapons in the game that are fully automatic anyway. Some shotguns are pretty broken at the moment from what I've seen clips of and things like that. So if you do want to use shotguns, this is not the video for you, but um, they will get nerfed anyway. So we'll see how this goes. For now, we've got these weapons here. We've got the Ram 9, Striker 9, WSP 9, WSP Swarm, Renetti with the conversion kit, the BP 50 also with the conversion kit and the MCW assault rifle also with the conversion kit. Now, as you can see here, when it comes to close range, time to kills, the best gun in the game is the MCW with the conversion kit. And I think we've known this for a while now. Next up is the WX WSP Swarm. So that's probably the meta SMG in the game. Then we've got the BP-50 with the conversion kit. And then the Striker 9. Then the Renetti. Then the Ram 9. And then the WSP-9. Now, the good thing about the WSP is that it does have a slightly slower time to kill. But that is only because it's factoring in the open bolt delay. If you remove that. So if, let's say, you're firing already before your opponent starts firing. Then you do have the same TTK is that MCW, so it is a solid choice as well. Now, another quick thing to mention before we move on here now is that the damage drop-offs, now obviously these can be extended uh, with attachments and things, of course, but as it stands, the gun that drops off the quickest is the WSP Swarm, and that is obviously why people tend not to use it as much, because you can't really use it past that five meter mark. But if you're always point blank, then obviously it is probably one of the better guns. Uh, then the next one to drop off is actually uh, the Ram 9, which is obviously another SMG there. Then obviously gradually gets further and further away. At about 15 meters, I think that's probably the best range to be using an SMG anyway. So you shouldn't really worry too much about that. But as you can see, the assault rifles do extend a little bit further. So having went over all of that now, we're going to quickly go through the builds because that is what you're actually here to see and pretty much that is what we're here to give you so when it comes to the mcw i think this is the best overall gun the only issue with this gun is obviously is an assault rifle so the movement is not there with this compared to obviously an actual smg so when it comes to the build we're using the Komora black iron heavy short barrel very long barrel name but this is the one that helps with aim walking speed so that strafe speed and just overall movement. I've pretty much built it towards movement uh, because the recoil in this gun is pretty low anyway, especially at point blank range. So we're using the hand stop under barrel, so the DR6, 40 round mags, which is the largest available with the conversion kit, and then the jack cutthroat stock, which is this one right here for the best aim walking movement speed. And obviously we've got that jack raven conversion kit, which is what you need. So you need to have the gun maxed out to actually use this. Next up, we have the WSP Swarm. Not the absolute best choice, but if you do just like raw TTK, then it is a solid option as well. Just keep in mind that the damage drop-off is pretty close. Um, so we are using that Zenman Compensator Flash Hider, which is a pretty solid choice. Uh, DR Hand Stop, again, for the better movement speeds. We are using the Kimura Laser Light. You can swap this out for an optic or something else if you prefer. It's probably the only attachment here you can swap out. We are using the Fortress Heavy Stock. This is going to help with the recoil control. And we are, of course, using the 50 round mags. You can go for the 100 round mags, but I think it just slows your movement down way too much. Next up, we've got the BP-50 with its conversion kit, which is the Jack Ravenger kit. Then we do have the Tack Tape on here, which is going to help with the sprint to fire speeds. Uh, you can also use the Grip Tape if you want for the extra recoil control. I don't necessarily think you need it for this gun, to be honest. It's quite low recoil anyway, so I'd rather take the sprint to fire bonus. I am using the slate reflector optic here. The iron sights are not super clean, but they are usable. So if you want to use something else, for example, uh, like an ammunition attachment, you could definitely go for one of those, but I prefer the optic. I'm using the Kimura laser light just because it helps the most the movement stats. And then we are using the Zenman compensator once again, because I think this is the best attachment for SMGs uh, to control recoil. Getting into the meta options now. Um, first of all, we have the striker nine, which I think is going to be the most popular out of these two options. So this build here, we're using the compensated flash hider once again. So that's the Zemin 35 
We do have that DR handstop under barrel grip once again for the better movement stats. 50 round drum mag, which is the largest mags available and obviously that's the ones you want to use. Uh, we are using the second grip, which does help with recoil control and also firing aim stability, which is actually very useful to be honest as a stat in general and we are using no stock there's a lot of builds for this gun out there to be honest but i just like to have a movement based build for my aggressive smg so this is the way i like to build it i think this is the best way to build a gun you can swap out that hand stop under barrel for an optic if you prefer the iron sights are not too bad on this gun either to be honest so and last but not least we have the wsp9 which shares the same ttk as the mcw after its open bolt delay so once you're firing the weapon then you're going to get an insanely, insanely good time to kill with this gun. So that is something you do need to factor in. So when it comes to the build here, we are aiming to get that sprint to fire speed pretty close um, to as negligible as possible. Um, they have actually buffed this weapon in terms of sprint to fire. So obviously that is why it's going to be very, very popular now. So that is going to be a solid meta option. So we're using the Compensated Flash Hider once again. We're using the DR Hand Stop once again because it does help with Sprint to Fire. You can also use a laser if you want. Uh, we're using low grain rounds for the recoil control. Uh, and we also use 50 uh, round mags here, which is the largest mags available. And no stock on top of that as well. Now, if you think the recoil is a bit too much, then you can use the WSP Factory Stock. I think this is a really good solid choice as well. You still get a bit of movement bonus, but you don't get too much of the recoil cons. Uh, but I think the recoil on this gun is not really that high anyway, especially at super close ranges. Uh, and obviously the low grain rounds will help you out with that as well. So there we have it. Those are the five best TTK SMGs inside the game right now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.